Good afternoon. My name is Tony Regans. I am the Executive Vice President of Baseball and Softball Development at Major League Baseball, and we are thrilled with today's announcement. Welcome to Vero Beach. Welcome to this wonderful historic campus. For many of us, we consider this place hollow ground, a place where legends of our games slept, walked, and played. This includes one man in particular who perhaps is the most important figure in our sports history. Today, he is represented by three members of his family who we'd like to acknowledge. His beautiful wife, Ms. Rachel. His wonderful daughter, Sharon. <laughs> and his amazing son, David. <laughs> Thank you for, for being with us today. Our next speaker is, and our first speaker we'll, we'll get started with is the head of our, our organization, the head of Major League Baseball, and we'd like to welcome Commissioner Manfred to say a few words. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to be back here in Vero Beach. Um, I get to travel a lot, and I have to say I've had nothing but great trips here. Um, it's usually to visit the Elite Development Invitational, um, which is always a pleasure, and today is a special uh, pleasure for me. I want to begin uh, with some thank yous. Uh, Commissioner O'Brien, thank you uh, for your ongoing assistance and partnership in this project. Um, Peter O'Malley, um, Peter obviously is an important part of the history of our game and has been truly devoted to preserving um, an important part of baseball's history here in Vero Beach. Um, and it has been a pleasure to work with you through this process as well. Um, I'd like to acknowledge a really good friend of mine and a former colleague, Bob Dupay, the former president of Major League Baseball. Very nice of you to be here. It's good to see you. <laughs> And most important, the Robinson family. Um, the relationship between Major League Baseball and the Robinson family is a special, long-lasting one. Um, I have enjoyed it personally um, for many, many years, and we look forward to many more to come. This year is an important and special year for Major League Baseball. Throughout 2019, we will be celebrating the 100th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's birth. Um, it's fitting that we do that. Uh, Jackie, responsible for the most important moment in the history of baseball, his breaking of the color barrier, and part of a movement in American history, not just baseball history, uh, that led to greater equality in our country and, and really a turning point um, in terms of civil rights. This place is also a special place. The O'Malley family built Dodger Town as a model for Major League Baseball. Um, in addition to Jackie Robinson, people like Don Newcomb, Roy Campanella, pioneers in their own right, trained here. Um, this place will always have an important part of our history. So I think it's fitting that we combine the legacy of Jackie Robinson and the legacy of this important facility by renaming historic Dodger Town the Jackie Robinson Training Complex. <laughs> Not only is this facility important um, because of what happened here historically, it's also important because of what goes on here today. 
uh, some of our most important programming, what originally was the Elite Development Invitational and is now the Hank Aaron Invitational is held here annually. Um, it is a symbol of our commitment uh, to making baseball look like America, providing elite playing opportunities to, to kids, mostly of color, from all over the United States. It also is important because it is a place where our former players come here and give back voluntarily to the game that has been so good to them. Um, so we look forward to many more years of great programming here um, at the Jackie Robinson Training Complex. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to be back here this summer to visit the Hank Aaron Invitational. Thank you very much. Thank you, Commissioner. That's just, this is awesome. Uh, as the commissioner mentioned, uh, we at MLB will, will celebrate Jackie's contributions to our game um, all year long um, in honor of his 100th birthday. Uh, and this includes the Jackie Robinson Day celebration on April 15th, collaborating with the Jackie Robinson Foundation on special projects, play ball events, at many of the stops where Jackie played, club-led initiatives, and of course, today's special announcement. Here to say a few words about her father and his enduring legacy, I invite Sharon up to the podium to say a few words. Good afternoon. Uh, we're thrilled to be here. Thrilled at the renaming of the rebranding of this uh, historic do former Dodger town. Uh, we were all, Mom, Dave, and I were trying to each have some memories from Dodger town. And I learned today, David, that one of our memories was completely wrong. We had envisioned, Dave and I were both born after Dad broke in and after Dodger town was formed. So I was talking to Peter and I said, oh yeah, we remember, I remember coming down here and well, if Dodger Town was here, how come we were still staying in the Negro League, Negro Motel? And he said, you weren't. <laughs> I said, oh, we weren't? So the swimming pool that I have imagined all these years I learned to swim in was not at the motel. He says, no, he was right here at Dodger Town. <laughs> so he explained to me where we were and um, so, you know, it, we've also come back to, uh, to this, this facility, you know, the, during the spring training years. And what I remember is because we lived in, in Connecticut where it was cold. So I do have some very strong memories of, he, he didn't believe I remembered anything about that going way back then, but I remember coming to Florida where it was nice and warm and we could swim. But seriously, um, Dodger Town has meant, a, the former Dodger Town has meant a great deal to us because our dad actually played here. And I remember I came to work for Major League Baseball 23 years ago. And um, my first time visiting as an employee um, of Major League Baseball and then seeing all of the photos once again and remembering um, the Dodgers used to bring uh, families here for certain special events. And one of the ones was when they renamed uh, the streets Pee Wee Reese and Jackie Robinson. And it was special because, uh, you know, back then, a number of the um, Brooklyn Dodger players were still alive, so it made uh, it very. Ex and my son um, was three, and they gave him a, a Dodger uniform, and it was fun because in the the um, newspaper the next day, we had all these great um, former um, players and Hall of Famers, and there was Jesse with his Dodger uniform on, throwing a pitch. So anyway. Um, but to have a, a chance to really help to develop this, this facility and reach children that are live in the area, but also to reach um, kids from across uh, America and across the world in some of our, our, our um, youth programs um, have kids from all over the world. So it's very exciting to, to us uh, to know that, because my dad was so committed to young people. When he was, um, still playing baseball, he started with the Harlem 
um, YMCA, and he would meet with the uh, young people there. And they actually ended up naming that after him. Um, but he was always committed to the development of young people. So for me, this is not just about a chance to build baseball skills, but it's also for us a chance to really help our young people um, become strong, compassionate, um, ready for the world of work, ready for college, um, and it was, you know, a strong character. Uh, and so that's one of the things I hope to, um, when I work, start working with Tony, I hope to um, be able to bring a little bit of that in. We've, we've done a lot of work with character development with Major League Baseball, and I hope we'll be able to continue to do some of that work here. So I actually live in Florida. I'm a Floridian. I live in Delray, and I intend to be driving up here and be a part of this facility. My mother is going to be a part of it as well. She's going to spend more and more time with me here in Florida, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, trying to, we're working on that deal right now. So she'll be coming up too, Tony. Uh, Commissioner, thank you as always. You have been an, just an incredible partner for our family, for the Jackie Robinson Foundation. One of the things we're, we're excited about in this long year of celebration is that in December, we intend to open the Jackie Robinson Museum in New York City. And that is something we've worked on for many years. And we couldn't have done it without the support of Major League Baseball. So, you know, Commissioner Manfred has taken the legacy and expanded it in ways, you know, once again, that um, my dad was a very humble man. And he would be, you know, just amazed that of how far reaching his life and his legacy uh, has become. Um, as you all know, his famous quote was, a life is not important except for the impact it, it's ha it has on others. And as we see that he's continued to have an impact, and uh, this facility will be one of the great examples of that. So thank you all for coming today, for supporting us. We will, I, I can assure you the Robinson family will be, my brother David, by the way, lives in Tanzania, East Africa. Um, so we have to kind of snag him down here whenever we can. So I'm very grateful that he's here with us today. Um, but thank you all so much. Wow. Just thinking about as, and I'm going to break script here for just a second, but just thinking about what uh, Jackie, as a, as a young African-American male in, in our game, what he meant and what opportunities were, were provided, um, it's just so impactful in my life specifically. And, and Robinson family, I, just, I, I really thank you for what you mean, not only to the game, but to to young African-American men that really got an opportunity and continue to get opportunities because of your husband. Um, wonderful, thank you. Um, as mentioned, uh, the newly named Jackie Robinson Training Complex has been celebrated globally for its vision, its, its commitment to diversity and inclusion and now Major League Baseball here at this facility is taking the baton and will continue those efforts. This facility will serve as a hub for many of our diversity-focused initiatives, baseball, softball, girls baseball, the permanent home of the RBI World Series will all be housed at this location going forward. We are extremely excited to be a part of this community and will be active in, in the community. And here with us is a group of athletes who represent exactly what I'm talking about and will be, and will be a big part of this complex's future. Please welcome the Vero Beach RBI. Please stand. Thank you. Um, 
again, Steve, I'm going to step off script again and just make a, a, a special acknowledgement and um, Rochelle Madrigal, who will head uh, our operations here in Vero going forward, is in the back room and just wanted to acknowledge her. Uh, Rochelle started on March 1st, so she um, is heading up our transition here. So just wanted to acknowledge Rochelle Madrigal in the back. <laughs> our next speaker, his family has been directly connected with this facility for many years. It's legacy with Jackie for, for decades. Uh, please help me welcome my good friend and the former owner and president of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Peter O'Malley. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Uh, I'm very happy to be here today, and I think we're all happy to be here on this exciting day. I'm fully supportive of the name Jackie Robinson Sports Complex for many reasons. Rachel, I was thinking that in the future, thousands of young athletes will come here. And unfortunately, some of them may not know who Jackie was, what he accomplished, or what he stood for when they arrive. But when they leave, they will all know about Jackie's life and what he did. And that's a great part of this name, the tradition. I've often said that Rachel deserves great credit for Jackie's success. Without taking anything away from Jackie, Rachel's support, encouragement for Jackie, I know this, from the very beginning throughout Jackie's life was wonderful. It was extraordinary, and you deserve a round of applause for that. Commissioner Manford, thank you. The uh, army of people you've sent here in the last two years, all talented, uh, good folks, loyal to Major League Baseball, ball, loyal to you. I enjoyed working with them all, particularly my friend over here, Tony Riggins, who I bonded with two years ago. He's probably my best friend today. <laughs> I saw more of Tony in emails and phone calls than anybody else. But putting this together, was a complicated puzzle. Um, Major League Baseball had used the facility. They liked it. It worked for them. And I was happy to continue doing it, but we all don't live forever. And I said, okay, succession's important. What happens after me? And I remember I met with Rob in New York, and he said, Peter, we, we like it. And uh, let me talk to my people. And I said, could I talk to the county? Could I talk to the commissioners and... Uh, Jason Brown, sure, confidentially. So we started, and Jason checked with the commissioners. And that was the beginning of two years of meetings all over, uh, most of them pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were kind enough to invite me to sit in on the meetings. And I didn't say much, but I wondered, whose side do they think I'm on? Am I on Major League Baseball side or on the county side? Well, I was on both sides because it was too great an opportunity to let slip by, and it took a lot of patience on everyone's part, but the story has a happy ending. Uh, there are two people here I'd like to recognize sitting down there in the front row. First of all, Bump Holman, whose late father... <laughs> whose late father deserves the credit completely for bringing the Dodgers to Vero Beach. Uh, Bump, thank you. My thanks to your mom and your dad. Um, Bump also was our pilot uh, for a long time, flying the Dodger plane in and out of Vero Beach, but a great friend. And uh, to this day, Holman Stadium name still appears on that stadium. When my dad built it in 1953, there were more seats in Holman Stadium than there were residents in the city of Vero Beach. <laughs> Sitting next to Bump, the first lady of Vero Beach, who I had the pleasure of meeting in 1962 or three. My first job was running Dodger Town. And part of that responsibility was uh, selling tickets to the spring training games, 
selling ads in the spring training program. And at that time, Alma Lee had the most beautiful children's clothing shop downtown Vero Beach. And I went in there and said, would you like to buy an ad in the spring training program? And she said, of course. And we've been friends ever since. But even more important than that, Alma Lee always has done and stood up for the right things in Vero Beach in the county. She's on the smart side of every issue, and uh, she's won many awards. And I, Alma Lee, thank you for your very long time great support. <laughs> the future is bright for Dodger, Dodger Town. I gotta stop using that term. Um, the future is bright, it really is. Uh, Major League Baseball is the perfect successor and I'll predict that they will be great additions, great new neighbors to the community. I think that they will be embraced. I think Rochelle will be embraced and supported by the community. I know the community gave our family that support. So there's no one here happier, and I wish everyone well, and if I can help anybody in the future down the road, I'll be happy to do it. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, Peter. Um, these types of efforts don't, don't work unless you have great partners, and, and we're thrilled to be able to, to work with uh, the Indian River County and, and the City of Vero. And we'd just like to thank the commissioners, uh, the City Council, for, for their support, their willingness to partner with us in this effort, and uh, we are extremely excited for what lies ahead. I'm here representing Indian River County and the local community is uh, County Commissioner Peter O'Brien, and uh, we, we thank you again for your support. Peter. Thank you, Tony. I guess I need to start off my remarks. Uh, Commissioner, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a new hat now for, uh, <laughs> with the new name, so when you have those ready, uh, I'd appreciate it. We'll send you um, I'd like to uh, thank everyone for coming out and welcoming to Indian River County and, and Vero Beach here. And uh, it, it's especially an honor to have Rachel and Sharon and David here. Uh, again, it's been said, but I can't say it enough. Thank you all for being here. It's just awesome you could be here and, and help with everything. I want to go back in time a little bit and just acknowledge a few people. Um, Everyone probably knows the story, but back in 2009, the Dodgers moved their spring training um, operations out west to Arizona, and the county went through a two-year process trying to find another major league team to take over their facility, and unfortunately, that didn't work out. But that's when Pat O'Connor, the president of minor league baseball, came to us, and he had a, actually Pat had cut his teeth here at, at Dodgertown, just like Mr. O'Malley did working here. And he really understood the significance of Dodgertown and the history of it. And he had this vision of a year-round sports facility. So we uh, entered negotiations and, and minor league baseball signed a lease with the county to take over the, um, uh, the operation, again, with that, that vision of a year-round sports complex certainly a focus on baseball and umpire training, things like that, but that was kind of Pat O'Connor's vision. And then Mr. O'Malley stepped in a couple years down the road and took over that lease for minor league baseball and not only continued that year-round sports um, uh, vision, but Mr. O'Malley really brought the historical significance of Dodgertown to the forefront. Um, I think Mr. O'Malley had a deep concern to make sure that history was not lost. Um, if you walk up and down the halls, you'll see the, the photos on the wall that um, show that history going on here. And Mr. O'Malley was successful in getting the uh, name Historic Dodgertown to be able to use. In addition, Historic Dodgertown was named to the Civil Rights Trail, and I think that's a, an, a, a big honor. So I want to thank Mr. O'Malley for all his efforts to keep this going. And I'd also like to recognize Joe Beard, the former county administrator. Joe was the one that had to negotiate the leases, both with minor league baseball and Mr. O'Malley. And as Mr. O'Malley uh, alluded to a little bit earlier, you know, sometimes those negotiations can be a little difficult. You know, you're trying to balance 
private interest and, and taxpayer money, and uh, but th those were successfully worked out. And I, I can tell you this, I know that um, Joe and Pat O'Connor had a lot of colorful discussions uh, during their discussions, but things worked out and we were able to get those leases and now that lease is, is coming over to Major League Baseball. And, and in my mind, this, this agreement really brings um, this facility full circle. Um, for you young kids playing ball, you know, one day you might play high school ball or college ball, and then um, with luck you might get drafted by a major league team. So you'll start your, your career out in the minor leagues, you'll go to single A ball, then work your way up to double A, triple A ball, and then if, if, if you're good and lucky, you get invited up to the show, to the major leagues. And that's kind of how I see how this, this facility has migrated. We started with minor league baseball, Mr. O'Malley came in and shepherded us up through those other stages, and now, you know, we're at the show, we're at <laughs> Major League Baseball, so I think it really brings everything together, and this just seems so right, you know, Major League Baseball needs to be here at Dodgertown, and Dodgertown needs to be a part of Major League Baseball, so this is really <laughs> coming together. So I'd like to wrap up, um, Commissioner Manfred, if you could come up uh, here for a minute. Um, since you're taking over the facility, you, you might need the keys to it or something. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, you know, I asked the Public Works uh, <laughs> Director for the keys, and, and he couldn't put a finger on it. And I got a whole bag full of them here for you. So I, I, I don't know which one really works, but um, there might, might be one more. Oh, yep, here we go. So uh, on behalf of the Board of County Commissioners and all the residents of Indian River County, it's my honor and distinct pleasure to present to you the key to the facility formerly known as Dodger Town, but now Jackie Robinson Training Complex. There you, you go. So much. You bet. Thank you. You, bet. you did a great time. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, I'll, I'll get all my mess out of the way here for you. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner O'Brien. These keys, I got about, still about 50 more keys down up here. Um, today, today has, uh, has truly been an honor and, and we're thankful for, for your support. Thank you for you all coming out today for this very, very special announcement. And <clears throat> at this time, I'd like to ask David to help us unveil the new logo that will adorn the Jackie Robinson Training Complex going forward. I think we have some logistics to work through. David, the honors are yours on three, one, two, three. <laughs> 